Hi everyone, welcome again. This is Joy Banerjee from AIKID Support, and uh, today we will see how we can install and configure Starwind. This is a uh, application by which we can create a virtual SAN from ICZ network. So I will also request you guys to really uh, subscribe my YouTube channel, which is AIKID Support, and also you can follow us in uh, the link is there. Uh, also you can follow us in AIKID Support page, which is in Google Plus. So um, let me show you. Um, what we have to do here, right? So what I've done is I have installed, uh, uh, not installed really. Uh, what I've done is I have uh, downloaded the installer of Starwind and as well as the license key. And also, uh, as I'm doing the installation is um, in uh, Windows Server 2003, so we require uh, Ice Cream Initiator to be installed, right? So I will uh, do installer of uh, installing of uh, Ice Cream Initiator first. So I will right click and open the package. So you can see uh, this is showing as Microsoft IceKZ Initiator. So I will click Next, and uh, it will also install a Microsoft MPIO multipathing software. So let it be uh, as uh, click is and click Next. I agree. I will click Next again. So it's checking for the space, and it will uh, do installation. So once it is done, then I will uh, go ahead with the installation of Starwind. Okay, uh, uh, this wizard has been uh, okay. So I will finish. Uh, this will restart the system as it has been installed. I will click in now. So once it restarted, I will uh, start the installation again. So let me pause the video. Once it has come back, I will uh, again resume the video again. Okay, we are back after the reboot. So uh, I will start the installation of Starwin. I will right click and click open. So I will click next. I will accept the license agreement. I will click next. So this is the latest version with Hyper-V. So I will, uh, this is the latest version 6.0. I will click next. So this is the installation path and you can also change this uh, by browsing. At this moment, we only have a single drive, so I will be let it be installing in C drive only. So I will click next. This is uh, going to be acting as a ISCSI server after installing this. So it has the HA process driver and as well as the star port driver for the star wind activation, right? Uh, to function with different servers. So I will click next. That will be like this. I will click next. And I will also create an icon in a desktop. So I will click next. So I will install. So the installation is done. Uh, it is saying the launch uh, the icon and uh, it will launch the application now. Okay, so let me maximize this. Okay. Okay, we are uh, now uh, logged into this uh, console. So this is target and the devices. So first we will create a device, then we will put in the target. Right. So I will right click and uh, add device. So I will use as virtual uh, disk. And click next. I will use as uh, image file disk. I will next, I will create a new device, I will say create, I will click next. So I will give a path where I need to really locate my storage files. So I will create a directory called storage, I will click OK. And let me choose this directory and I will create a file name as disk 
zero one dot img. So I'll click OK. So let it be one GB, and there is an option you can uh, compress or encrypt the volume. So I will be putting it as it is. I will click next. So it is giving you a asynchronous mode uh, for caching. So I will click next. At this moment, no caching. So I will click next. So let's uh, create a new target because we don't have any target at this moment. So mm -hmm. the target areas would be uh, server when 2012. Okay. So I'm not really making it as uh, Concurrent connection as a for clustering. So let it be if you want to building this particular target for the clustering purpose. So you can check this and uh, click next. So at this moment, this is a flat file. Uh, so only for a single uh, server to be uh, masked in. So I'll be putting as this and click next. So I will click next and click finish. So once this is done, I can see one image file has been created. And if I go to the target, I can see there is one image file has been mapped in the target. So this is how you can use the ISKZ network and I can also show you how you can map it on a different server. So that will be a different video. So I will request you to follow my channel and see the other video. And thanks for being here uh, to see this particular video. And please do like my video and follow us on AIKID support uh, on YouTube. Thank you.